Question number three. Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Economic Development. What recent progress has the government made on making it easier for Kiwi businesses to sell their products and services abroad? Excellent question. Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm pleased to advise the House that overnight the World Trade Organisation gave the green light to New Zealand's accession to the WTO government procurement agreement. Uh, the accession to the agreement, which took two years of negotiations, guarantees New Zealand companies access to bid for government contracts in 43 companies, uh, countries around the world. Previously, New Zealand companies have needed to go through the often time-consuming and costly process of building offshore branches to be able to bid for those government contracts. The agreement will remove the need for that, allowing them to do business with offshore governments and government agencies from a New Zealand base, uh, creating more jobs and local investment in this country. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What does this agreement mean for Kiwi businesses? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, accession to the GPA will give New Zealand businesses and exporters guaranteed access to bid for overseas government contracts worth around an annual US $1.7 trillion. The agreement currently covers 43 WTO members, including major markets of the US, Canada, Korea, Japan and across the European Union. That number will grow to 45 with the accession of New Zealand and Montenegro, and a further eight WTO member countries are currently in the process of joining the agreement, which will open up more markets for New Zealand companies. Acceding to the WTO Government Procurement Agreement is one of the more than 350 actions contained in our business growth agenda, and specifically one of the key initiatives identified in the export market stream, which is aimed at lifting the proportion of exports as a percentage of GDP to 40% by 2025. Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What other work is the Government doing to grow New Zealand exports? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, a lot of work, uh, led by our Trade Minister Tim Grosser, uh, who works very hard for his country. We've signed free trade agreements with Malaysia, Hong Kong and ASEAN. We're progressing well on agreements with Korea and with the Gulf Cooperation Council. And just this last weekend, Ministers met again in Sydney to continue discussions on the Trans-Pacific Partnership. We're, of course, funding promotion of our education and tourism industries. We've established the New Zealand Story, which is a new marketing framework to help our businesses leverage New Zealand's brand and values on the world stage. And as part of this year's budget, we've expanded the number of New Zealand companies NZTE works with intensively from 500 to 700, recognising an increasing number and range of New Zealand businesses are doing more and more of their trade offshore and looking to break into more and larger markets. Very good. Question number four, Kelvin Davis. <clears throat> to the Minister of Police.